Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brad in my hands. It's Chicken Devils number four, uh, the penultimate issue. Brian Pucciolato is the writer. Mattia uh, Monaco is the artist of colors. Buddy Bodian is the letterer. Um, so this is a story about this this father who owned a chicken place, and this is the second volume. The first volume, um, he goes on to think of vengeance after kind of a mob takes a hit on him, uh, and he thinks that they kill his family. Uh, his family is alive. Here, uh, he um, some cops have figured out that he's the one that went on the murder spree and have uh, joined him in the follow-up murder spree. Uh, so this one, they've been basically the concept is that they've been putting uh, biker gangs against each other, drug drug uh, gangs against each other, uh, and just body count is super super high. So in this one, the 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 father's relationship with his fa family has just gone completely off the rails, uh, not well, and he wants out. Of course, you know the cops don't want him out. These crooked cops don't want him out. Uh, they need him to complete their mission of destroying these gangs. Uh, so the issue is the crazy insanity that you'd expect. Lots of swearing, lots of death, lots of violence, uh, lots of quoting movies. Uh, just, it is a Tarantino film in comic form in all the best way. Uh, beyond the time frames being cut around and stuff like that, but um, it's it's good. It's I think it's entertaining. Uh, it just really reminds me of that kind of over-the-top violent film. I've said it reminds me of like 80s, 90s action films. It, it still does. Uh, to the point that I would love to see this as a film. I can't imagine just how it would be an R film. There's just so much violence. Um, the other is the, the daughter has, uh, in this one, the daughter has found out or thinks that her uh, boyfriend is cheating on her and wants her dad to go kill him. And of course, the daughter knows that he's a vigilante, so that doesn't help matters at all. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is just, it's good. It's constantly good. It's really entertaining. The violence, it's just over the top. It's all over the top. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you just kind of like that almost comedic level of violence, you're going to enjoy this. Uh, if you have trouble with that sort of violence, you're, you're not going to like it. Uh, I, myself, enjoy that. I, I think it's really entertaining. Uh, I grew up in the 80s, and ridiculously violent action films is my bread and butter. Um, so, yeah, it's it's good. It's really, really good. Uh, I can't wait to see how this ends, and I'm hoping there's a third volume. I really, really hope there's a third volume. So you can go get this. This is in comic shops. We've got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we'll get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you for that. And, of course, I want to thank Aftershock for putting us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok, Mastodon, uh, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.